What do you consider your uh, your best pitch right now? Fastball or my slider. Okay, so let's go over your fastball grip and and also some okay. mechanical cues of what you think because you're a being a, a, a fast moving guy. I'd love to to share some of your cues with with everybody else out there about like mm-hmm. what do you do? What do you mechanically like? How what are your cues? How are you? How do you do what you do? Yeah, so we I guess we could start there. Um, so. Again, a guy I work with back home, Glenn Mitchell, awesome. Um, and he's all about body, putting the body in powerful positions um, and being repeatable and understanding how you move. So my big things are balance and finish. That's really all I think about. Um, and my cue for that actually came from James Paxton when he first got traded over. And he told me, don't be in a rush to throw the ball which if you think about it is such a simple way of saying, stay back, stay back, let the arm get up and finish. Um, and so uh, like when you did the interview with Stroh and he said he was throwing with his eyes closed, it was super refreshing for me because I, he had had me doing that three years ago. So um, that's how I feel my body. That's how I can tell my positions because you close the eyes, you take the eyes away. The body has to move free to execute your pitch. And you'll be able to feel every single minute thing in the body to say, oh, I missed because my arm is just a hair off. My, my arm wasn't up high enough or I didn't stay back long enough. So um, that's kind of how I train that. But the big cue for me is breathe. And then I tell myself, don't be in a rush to throw the ball. And it lets my arm get up, everything move together. And I move down my line. Do you do that every pitch? Are you mentally giving yourself those cues too? No, I try okay. to just move. I try to move. Um, I feel like, and I was, I was in the state for a while too, of where when you overthink and you over try to correct, you actually cause more adaptations. So it, I'm kind of at a place now, if I miss, I just say F it and throw it again. I, now, if I feel super off, it's okay. Where am I super off at? That, that, that makes total sense. What I find is a lot of pitchers that think a lot, get into they 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 hurt themselves mechanically um by yeah. think by overthinking it so that's good to, to yeah. add, like one or two things works anything more than that you're in your own head and and it's going to be garbage yeah actually i talked to jager a lot this off season too about his kind I didn't of know you're funnels. a jager guy yeah that's my Dude, guy he's man. awesome that's my guy yeah he's uh he's helped me a lot and he, we just started really getting into the mental um, and his pre-pitch funnel of mechanical cue and then also just a verbal cue to set you up after the breath has been super huge. He, he is absolutely a, a genius when it comes to mental oh, game. Yeah. And yeah, he, um, he helped the whole Georgia Tech team too, or a bunch of players on yeah. Georgia Tech. He's awesome. He's great. And he just has so much energy and so calming too. Like he lets you know like what's really important and – you know, he's, he's just a, he's a great guy to have on your side. hundred percent. He's the best, man. I, I owe him a lot. He's been helping me a lot with this throwing program this off season, the, for the velocity. And I think that also has a lot to do with it as well. So super thankful for him and any chance I get to talk to him. Oh, I got to text him when we get off actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So what are your, so what are your two thoughts then? Is you, if you were going to reset or do anything like, what do you, what do you think to yourself? What's your little, mon- what's your mantra? Um, it depends on the count, depends on the situation. So early in the count, I tell myself, just execute, execute this pitch, one pitch at a time, execute this pitch. If I'm in a count where I'm behind or I want to step on somebody's throat, it's here to hit it. And it's just me attacking you. Um, and that's when I kind of feel slow. If I feel like I'm moving slow, like execute sometimes makes me move slow to like execute the pitch a little bit, but here it is. Hit it is just gas foot to the floor, gas pedal. We're going. And we're in a fight. Yep. So I, I, and that's kind of where I was getting at first before I knew the dietary thing. I was like, sometimes you could be overthinking yourself and being like, mm-hmm. I got to execute. And then you move slower and a guy, a, a faster moving dude, I think that takes some of the energy and, and velo from them. And I love mm-hmm. that. Just, just, just here it is. Hit it where you're shoving it down someone's throat and go, yeah, I don't care. Take it. Yeah. Hit it. If you, if you hit it, so what? If not, great. I'm up 0-1. Yep. I, that, that was my go-to. Love it. Um, so fastball grip? Fastball, uh, traditional fastball, horseshoe out. 
a um, little space in between thumb underneath it. Nothing crazy there. Cool. Um, sl- slider is horseshoe is facing me finger on the horseshoe right here. And then uh, thumb underneath a little pressure in the middle finger. And you're just throwing like a fastball. Or are you doing anything at the end? No, uh, fastball as long as I can at the end. I'm trying to get this finger to the front of the ball and pull here. Um, and then the other one's a curveball, which is kind of like might get me over early breaking ball that I just had since I was 12. This is how I've thrown it. Two seam here, fingers together, pressure through the middle of the ball, and I'm just pulling with this, pulling it down. Have you thought about spiking it since you're not using the pointer at all? Or do I got. I got a little finger. I bite my fingernails too much, so I can't get it. <laughs> I've, I've never been able to throw a strike. This this has always just felt so comfortable, and it's such a good feel pitch. I can make it bigger and smaller depending on the day. If the slider's not there, this is kind of my go-to. I can shape it like the slider. I can throw it harder. I can throw it slower, and it, it kind of serves as a multi-purpose weapon for me. I was going to ask you if you could shape your slider too, um, or is it just – Yeah, I can make it bigger and smaller and harder and slower, just kind of – by moving the ball up and down. So if I want it smaller, I'll pull it down a little bit. If I want it bigger, I'll pull it here and make it more of like a curveball grip. Gotcha. And, uh, and change up change up. That's a, this is a new one for me. So, um, I was a two seam change up guy kind of here, a little hybrid. Um, I learned that from Franco, uh, John Franco when I was with the Mets and Frank Viola. Yeah. And, those and, are two uh, of the best change up dudes of all time. So, I mean, Oh it's... yeah. Oh yeah. So, and then, driving in the car and um, having kind of my little alone time with God. And he was telling me, I gave you three people. I, I introduced you to three people in your life. So the first was Franco, then was um, Trevor Hoffman, and then Pedro. And so he said, take all three of those and blend them together as one. So I started here with the two seam and then Hoffman threw a little bit of a palm ball. So I took the two seam and rolled it down to my palm. And then the one cue that Pedro gave me, was get this finger on top of the ball. Um, so then I offset my fingers to create a little split, and now I'm throwing it here. That's going to be – how's it shaping up? I mean, that could be nasty, right? Yeah, it's you're playing, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Getting there. it's getting I love there. that thought. Like, all right, so you're influenced by some of the best change-up throwers of all yeah. time, including the best change-up – well, two – like, I, I mean <laughs> – Shoot, I'm not going to argue about Pedro. They're hand in hand, man. They go go hand in hand. Yeah, for my money, I love watching Pedro throw. So, I mean, but but it's hard to argue with a Hall of Famer just on a changeup. I mean, that's all Hall of had. That's such a cool pitch. And it was crazy because as soon as I did it, it just felt so comfortable in my hand. Uh, My thing with my changeup before was I would go to pronate it, and I would always push it off the plate. So it was never a weapon. It was never anything that I can get on the plate for anyone to swing at or potentially have the thought of going after. So holding it here and just, I just throw like a fastball and it has the depth and it has the, the break that I want. And it's actually slower than any changeup I've ever thrown before. So it's getting there. Just got to get the feel down before I bust it that bust it out in a game. Gotcha. So you're deeper in your palm than P- Pedro is more out in his fingers and, and pronating yep. through it. And you, but you're taking the Hoffman slope, the, the really taking all the yep. speed off it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really choke it. Um, it's kind of, I'm still holding it loose. It's in like, I can, can't really tell, but. Okay. Yeah. So it's way, in the way back, back but it's there. In, it's pretty much in the back. It, yeah, yeah. It's of, deep. Of top, it's my, yeah. All my fingers are on there. Um, if I, I've tried having it out a little bit and it just gets pushy. Um, but holding it here just lets me stick, keep this finger on top more and really get the, the break I want. You never tried like the airbender in your in practice, like just trying no, to spin. No, all the way. no, no, no. I don't got that. I'm not a big pro day guy. Yeah. Um, but and then the other thing is we've now uh, everybody with the Mar- the guys with the Mariners are now we're adding a little bit of a split to it to make it a little more like Vulcan-y, I guess you could say, mm-hmm. kill some spin. And uh, I've really liked that too. So it's getting there. Yeah, this is fun. I love that experimentation. <laughs> and this is what I try to tell everybody is, is there's so many different ways. I did a video of like the top changeups over the last 40 years and did each of their grips. And like all of them are different. Literally all of them are yep. different. And uh, like you just got to uh, find the one that's like you, that yeah. fits you. That's the craziest thing is the one that fits your hand the best. 
So uh, Stroman and I for years have been, I've been sending him grips and he was trying to pick up a change up and then he finally figured it out and it wasn't any of them. It was like a split change that Gazelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that episode. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick. And that thing is dirty. Yeah. It's, it's a dirty. weapon. And once you find it, it's like the best weapon you can have. Like a, a good change up is the best. It's awesome. And I have the gain in the confidence to throw it is, is awesome. Um, it's something I've never really had to use before, but I'm super excited to pull it out. And even if I only throw it like 5% of the time, it's just another weapon to have to go to in a big spot, throw somebody off. They're not looking for it. So I'm super excited. 